Hi, I'm Lee Chantal from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's vegan question and answer, which is, what should I cook for a non-veg get-together? Um, I, I always cook the same thing pretty much when I go to any event or when I have people over to my place. I always cook um, fried quinoa, so it's like a fried rice, but I use quinoa as well as rice or instead of rice. So I make that with one cup of brown rice, one cup of quinoa, and I normally mix all three different types of quinoa together, so white, red and black together, and I just cook them together. And then I add maybe some garlic, maybe some onion, grate up some different vegetables like carrot, zucchini. Um, cut up some tiny bits of red capsicum, chili. I put some nutritional yeast in there, I put some tamari, or you can use soy sauce or Bragg's amino acids. I also put whatever I've got in the in the fridge or the cupboard, like chickpeas or some mixed beans into that and I put some I have like little jars of different um, nuts and seeds so I put some pepitas or pumpkin seeds some sunflower seeds and a few different things like that and I just mix that all in together and that's really good because you can make a massive amount of that and it can feed a lot of people and also for dessert I make my favorite thing that I have for breakfast every single day which is chia pudding and I use chia seeds for that I normally make a big container every week for myself so it's one cup of chia seeds so you can use the white or the black seeds and four cups or one liter of rice milk you can also use soy milk or another nut milk and I mix that all with a tiny little whisk and make sure that it all mixes really well before you let it set and you leave it to set for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then I combine that with some frozen berries that I just buy in bulk from the supermarket. I just mix all of that in together and it becomes like a really beautiful pinky colour as well. And then you can serve it on the day with um, coconut cream, coconut yogurt. If you like things a bit sweeter you could add some agave. Um, but I really just don't think you need any sweeteners to that whatsoever. So then my two things that I always make to just about everything I go to. If I have a bit more time, um, I make a good um, chocolate beetroot cake, which was one of my friend's recipes and she gave me. Uh, that's really cool and it's a mass you can make massive amounts as well. I also really like hummus and I like making different types of hummus like uh, sun dried tomato hummus is probably my favourite with um, pine nuts mixed in. I also make an artichoke one, I make an eggplant one and so if I have a bit of time I'll make big batches of different hummuses and I will have some brown rice um, sesame or black, black sesame uh, crackers that I like to eat or just some vegetable vegetables all cut up. Um, I'm also, I also like making some sweets or baking sometimes as well if I have time so that might be shortbread um, or little slices raw raw little balls are really good to make as well just some nuts or some dates or some dried fruit just put it all in a food processor roll it into balls and put some coconut on the top I hope those things have helped you. Um, you can have a look on the website. There's quite a few recipes on vivalavegan.net for some of those. And at the moment, it's um, almost Thanksgiving for my American friends and also Hanukkah for my Jewish friends. And it's almost Christmas time as well. I've just released a cruelty-free vegan Christmas recipe ebook and it has 48 recipes for the silly season. It's over 70 pages, lots of photographs of all the food and lots more information as well. So have a look at that and good luck with the silly season. Hope to see you soon. Take care.